Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to answer a question from Dave Mitchell, uh, who is AJ5F and is in Sterling, Utah. Um, his question has to do with a misbehaving well pump. He lives out in an area where he doesn't have utility water, so he has a well and a pump. And the way those things work, the pump is down at the bottom of the well, and there's a tank in the basement. When the tank gets low, it flips the switch, turns the well pump on, and the water comes up, refills the tank, and then shuts off when it gets full. And then that tank can be pressurized in and feed the uh, water in the house, and so there's always water whether the well pump is on or not. One of the problems, however, that he's having is this is a very noisy facility here. He says, I enjoy your YouTube videos very much and would like to know if you have ever done one on the MFJ 1025 or 1026 noise canceling signal enhancer. I have not. And I'm not sure that's the right application here for this. I'm a 44 year long licensed ham, live in rural Utah and have no municipal water and the controller or the drive on my well goes off every few minutes and it creates noise that just destroys 75 meters and is also very high on 40. I recently obtained one of these units, meaning a uh, noise canceller, from a ham and I've seen several videos on this, but these videos were not very helpful. I would appreciate any help you can give. Uh, thanks, and 73 from Dave. Okay, let's, let's look at what he's talking about, a noise canceller. The idea is you've got your radio here, and it's got an antenna, and it picks up from everything around, okay? Everything around, including a noise source. Okay, now the way the noise canceller works is kind of interesting. You've got a noise antenna near the noise source. And this comes over to the noise canceling system, which by the way only works on the receive line. So you've got to make sure that the transmit line doesn't go into this. The idea being that it takes this and subtracts it from what comes in here. So this is mostly noise source, and you subtract it from this to take out that noise source. Can that be done? Yes. Is there a phasing issue here? Yes, absolutely. So the adjustments on the thing have phasing adjustments, so you can get the phase just right to cut this down. Now, would this work in this case? Okay, it would work. Uh, these sometimes work not very often. The separate noise antenna, the idea is it picks up more noise than this antenna. Okay, so I've never seen these spoken of highly. I've never used one. So I'm going to give you some suggestions. First of all, this case should be metal and because it's connected to the to the well the well is metal should be metal shouldn't be plastic should be metal if not ground rod time okay um, there should in the pump is in the bottom of the well so the pump itself is not creating the noise noise could come up the cable in which case ferrites or wrapping the thing around a very heavy ferrite core uh, could really help if there is noise generated by what's in the well. What's in the well, I'm going to guess, is a brushless motor. If it is a brushless motor, it's not going to create much noise. What creates noise in motors are the brushes themselves. And the problem is this motor is essentially unserviceable 
because it's way down at the bottom. It is possible, but it is a big deal to pull that motor out and put a new motor in. It does have to be done every so often. Now there's a controller for this up in the house and it's got switches in your tank. Ground the tank, ground the metal box that this is in. If it's not in a metal box, put it in a metal box. Make sure that it's very well bonded to the tank. If your tank is ABS plastic, wrap it with chicken wire and, and uh, uh, solder the connections together and ground it. Do something along those lines. So you build a Faraday cage around the thing. You want to squelch the noise at its source, which is either right here or right here. So again, ferrite beads on the power and on the control cables that go down into the well. Now, what it may be doing is simply turning the um, well motor on and off. So you've got a relay in here. And every time that relay goes down, and every time it comes up, there's a small spark. Okay? So you want to contain that as well as you can within a Faraday cage. Now, what else can you do? Get this thing away from the house as far as you can. If you live in a rural area and you have no well, I'm guessing you're not in town. So you have a little property. Get the antenna away from the house. Um, another 200 feet or so. And put your grounding rod here with a lightning arrestor on the cable, okay? And then where you get out to where you've got your antenna, put another ground rod, another lightning arrestor. That will greatly reduce the amount of static or whatever that's picked up from all this um, and have it coming in here. And that 200 feet, if it's RG213 or LMR400, you will have almost no impact on uh, the signal. Okay, unless you get up like 10 meters or something like that, which you may if you're a DXer. But get this antenna away from the house. Make sure you've got lightning arresters here, that your station is thoroughly grounded and grounded to the uh, ground rod here. Make sure this is grounded to the utility ground, if you have a utility ground. Um, I would assume you have. Uh, most places, uh, like we do have water here, but we don't have sewer, so we have a s septic tank and a, a cesspool, <laughs> neither of which create RF interference. And then that will really help you with your noise problem. This might be easier than this, but you should approach both. If this is what's creating the energy, get this thing wrapped up so that that... Now, there's another thing you can do. Well, now let's see. It's a um, AC relay, so putting diodes on it's not going to help. You'd have to do it only if it's DC, and it's not DC. It's an AC motor. It's probably 220, 220 volts in there, which means there's a neutral somewhere. That neutral needs to be grounded. The neutral may not go all the way down into the well. It may be just the positive and the negative of the um, 220. Well, I hope that offers you some ideas for help. You can always try the noise canceller, but the money might be better spent on some coax getting that antenna away from the house. Okay? And remember that every time you double the distance between the antenna and the noise source, you cut the noise power in a, by three quarters. So if you double it again, the distance again, another three quarters. You can get it out here. It doesn't take far and you end up without any noise coming from that thing out there. Okay, so I hope that helps. Please help feed the YouTube algorithm by subscribing and clicking like and sharing the video and um, let your friends know about it. 
Uh, also, please uh, help support the channel financially by going to dcastler.com support. And until we next meet, 73.